President Barack Obama is going to be the first sitting president to be awarded the Presidential Medal of Honor by Israel. By Israel. By Israel's sitting president, Shimon Peres. Right. And this has big ramifications, right? Because you've had President Obama being vilified by the Republican Party. He's not pro-Israel enough. I mean, you saw it, just the attack against the ridiculous out-of-left-field attack on Chuck Hagel, right? And you also saw when Netanyahu was here, you had conservatives in the GOP coming out saying, well, oh man, he stiffed him in a meeting and he just doesn't even care about Israel, which right. is, of course, just ludicrous. Uh, he's made more gains to help the security of Israel than, than most other presidents, pretty much any other president. The Iron Dome system that was highlighted yesterday on 60 Minutes, put in place largely by Obama putting it in place and his Defense Department pushing for that. And that's maintained and, and improved the security of Israel dramatically. And so, so this getting this medal is, is going to help, you know, underscore his argument for the Middle East peace process. And the fact that he is pro-Israel, he's helped Israel tremendously. And so it'll take the bite away from a lot of the criticism coming from the right wing in Israel and the right wing in the United States when it's time for these increased negotiations. And and helping humanitarily with the Palestinian situation that we saw last week, John Kerry coming out and pushing for more uh, Palestinian human aid, right? From yeah, Congress, right? yeah, exactly, right. for more humanistic approach to Palestine instead of vilifying them all the time and, and 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 allowing Congress to hold back the aid that the Obama administration wants to give them. So this is a, a, a very interesting story that will have ramifications uh, going forward, and it also just. It's just another feather in Obama's cap, and, and it proves that even the country where he is, you know, looked at as being too far to the left or too close to Palestine or a Muslim or whatever the attack is, no, right. he is not perceived that way by the intellectual class of the country, the people who really study the foreign affairs and, and the world.